Uh, good evening, Chair Williams, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Commissioner Board, Bruce Patterson, Garwood. Um, just back to that uh, refunding bond. I, at, least, at least now I know what it is. I could have thanked you back then, but I'll thank you now for saving $1.3 million for the taxpayers. I will be uh, staying on the agenda, by the way, so I, I won't be railing about anything this time. Uh, <laughs> number 280 on page two. Uh, th it's the tax levy limit and the established cap bank. And I keep asking about, ab about what these two items are. I understand the cap bank, but what, is the, what does it mean when it says exceed the county tax levy limit? I, I'd like an explanation on that. And I guess when the cap bank, I guess what the total dollars are that's uh, now sitting in the cap bank since you're always under cap. Uh, 281 and 282 is the constitutional officers, prosecutor, and the uh, sheriff. And I know uh, by state law, they, you know, they have to maintain a uh, cap, but uh, it says it has to exceed the cap on both of those resolutions. I'm just wondering, are you really exceeding the cap, or, or is this just a housekeeping item that you have to state on the agenda? 283 is... is uh, the, introducing the budget. I have the budget now in my possession. I'll be looking at it and, of course, commenting in the future. Thank you for putting it together, and you know, we'll take a look at it. Uh, page 4, 294. This one was uh, asked in the agenda setting. It's the uh, extent, reflecting the extension on the Irving Street Bridge and Rawway, and, and there's a, a $1 million add uh, to 2 million $2,027,000 uh, contract, I guess it is. And I'm just wondering, what is this $1 million? Is this just design costs? Uh, Director Graziano did mention about one barrel, three barrel, back to two barrel. I mean, is, is this additional design that's going to cost $1 million? Just an explanation on that. Uh, number 311 on page 6. Uh, Remington and Vernick engineers, they're, they're going to, and this is interesting, perform rewarding services for the Union County Board of Elections. Um, I, I guess, I don't even know, I might have asked something like this last year, but rewarding services, just to explain uh, what that is. Uh, 312, right below it, uh, that's the electric vehicle infrastructure study. Uh, it is a good idea, but the question is, $176,000, was did this go out for competitive bid? It's, that, that's a wow number to me, uh, just study driving around trying to figure out where they should be located. Uh, number thir 313, right below that on page 6. Uh, HC Equities uh, seems to be, uh, well, you know, there's, the county is being sued by, I guess, HC Equities. Could I, could the public just have an overview of that? So, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so, for resolutions 280, 281, and 283, 282, uh, Director Taylor, could you please come? 283, I think it was. 282. So through you, Chair Williams, uh, Resolution 2022-280 is indeed a, the language prescribed by the state for the cap exclusion. Basically what we're doing is capping, excuse me, we're banking $1.6 million to be utilized in subsequent years if needed. Resolutions 2081 and 2082 are a, a result of Public Law 2017-03, excuse me, t Public Law 2015, Chapter 249. Uh, essentially, that just requires that every constitutional entity lives within 2%. However, based upon exigent circumstances, as a result of the pandemic, as well as changes in the administrative code, bringing the um, Department of Corrections under the Sheriff's Office, the Sheriff's Office does need a cap waiver because prior years they weren't, they didn't include corrections, now they do. The Prosecutor's Office with the uh, opening of the courts and all of the caseloads that they have, they have a need for greater OE that just increasing the cap that their office is subject to in the amount of $100,000. The other resolutions? I, th I think it was just, those, just those two. Yeah, yeah, those three, yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Um,
for um, resolution 294 uh, Irving Street Bridge. Uh, Director Graziano, would you please? Sure, through you, Chair. Um, this is actually um, this is actually two grants. So there's a grant for a million dollars, and there's also a grant for two million o twenty seven. So there's a total of three million o twenty seven in uh, in grant funding. So it's extending the two thousand and sixteen grant and continuing with the two thousand and nineteen grant of two million. And this is not for professional services, this is for construction. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and then we had, let's see, oh, um, Director Dorado, could you please um, respond regarding uh, Resolution 311? 3 you, Chair. Um, every 10 years following the census, the federal government re boards or redraws, I should say, the congressional lines um, following the census to ensure that the congressional, the population within the congressional districts are equally appro appropriated. Um, similarly, pursuant to state statute, the counties that have wards within them have to undergo the same process, whereby we have to review the population um, within the wards, within towns that have wards, to ensure that they are equally represented amongst the wards. Um, this resolution, however, just um, reallocates some funds between the 2021 and 2022 budget. Okay, so it's not a reward. It's re-hyphen warding, theoretically. Yes, it, yes. Some people may look at it as a reward, but No, okay. we are not getting re rewards. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Deputy County. <laughs> Deputy County Manager, would you please come and um, discuss a little bit, provide clarification on Resolution 312? Yes, through you, Chair. Uh, this was competitively bid, as we're required to do. Uh, there were, I believe, five respondents. The review team was made up of three county employees and a member of the NJTPA, who was the funder of this project. Um, they provided us with the grant, and we followed the rules we're supposed to do for procurement. Thank you. Okay, and then uh, finally, there was a question about Resolution 313, County Council. Would you please uh, respond what, whatever you sure. can Thank say? Thank you. Sure. Um, this litigation concerns a, uh, a lease, a longstanding lease that the county has had. We've had a dispute with the landlord running on a good number of years. Uh, the matter has been up to the New Jersey Supreme Court where we prevailed, but there are some ancillary issues still before the court, so we are still uh, litigating parts of it, though the, the major claim was dismissed and upheld by the uh, superior, uh, Supreme Court. Thank you so Thank much, you. County Council. Uh, okay, the, um, the floor is still open for any other members.